Laura, uh, she is here. She's Fox News anchor. Kim, I wanted to bring you in because the uh, cars.gov, and I recommend, America, you do not try this at home. I'm going to show it to you. <laughs> this is somebody else's computer. I took it from their office because I wouldn't do this on mine. Yeah. Um, cars.gov, this actually came in a tip from what I call a constitutional watchdog. I'm asking my radio listeners earlier sure. this week to watch these things because 10 million eyes on radio and God knows how many millions of eyes here on television watching things that we can't watch. This is a frightening. It really uh, is. So yeah. don't, people shouldn't go on it right now while you're doing it. Do this. not do don't this do at it. home. Trust me, you'll understand why. Okay, can you take a shot here of this, Oscar? Um, here is cars.gov. Let's say you go in, if right. I understand this right, I go in and I say, hey, I want to turn in my clunker. The dealer goes to cars.gov and then they, uh, they hit submit, to trans submit transaction. Here it says Privacy Act and Security Statement. And you're just like, oh, it's a Privacy Act in 1974. Whatever, I agree. Now, this is how bad this system is. It probably won't pull up because the system is so overwhelmed. You know, it wasn't a $19 million website. Right, exactly. So, let me, it's not going to pull up now, watch. Well, it's, it's thinking, it's trying really hard. Let me show you what it does say when you pull it up. Can you bring up the full screen on what it says? It, a warning box comes up and it says, this application provides access to the DOT car system. When logged on to the car system, your computer is considered a federal computer system and it is property of the United States government or uh, any or all uses of this system and all files on this system may be intercepted, monitored, recorded, copied, audited, inspected, and disclosed to authorized cars, uh, authorized cars, DOT, law enforcement personnel, as well as authorized officials of other agencies, both domestic and foreign. <laughs> <laughs> Good God almighty. Could it be any more broad and frightening? Here you are trying to be a good citizen and make a charitable contribution, do something that's good. And guess what? They are jumping right inside of you, seizing all of your personal and private information. Yeah, not and just it's that. And absolutely there, legal, Glenn, to do it. There's nothing. You know what? In a million years, I wouldn't click continue. In a you can't. You can't. Because guess what? They can continue to track you basically forever. Once they've tapped into your system, the government of course has like malware systems and tracking cookies and they can tap in any time they want. Now look, I'm not suggesting that the government engages in any kind of nefarious activity. No, that would be crazy. I wouldn't, no, 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 do no. that. But you know what? They said for any intended use, purpose, foreign, domestic, it's so broad that they can just about do anything with it saying that it's in the government's interest because they're trying to protect against fraud and that type of thing. I have to tell you, I mean, do you believe you, that? I mean, seriously, they get uh, all your information. Yes, actually, I do because I know who our czars are now, and I think these are these. This collection of these czars, these are evil people. These are wicked, frightening. crazy, frightening people. Yeah. Um, uh, Jonah, oh, <laughs> where where do you even go with this? Where do you even yeah, go no, with this? The thing is, is that we can separate out what the intent might or may not have been. I mean, maybe this is just someone being really stupid in the federal government. No. But no. the reality of it is, I, 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 it's possible. Look, it's possible. Really? Is it? Okay, you're right. Look, look, as, look as a conservative. Tell me about Goldilocks. Yeah. Look, as a conservative, you always have to hold out the possibility that government people are just stupid rather than evil. No. Let me that tell you said, something. You, that know said, uh, you know what? I went down that road, Jonah. I went down that road for a long time. <laughs> but all of this stuff fits together. When you see the zars that they're putting sense. up there, it all makes sense. Look, These are people that just think that they're smarter than us and not only have to take care of us, but they need to make sure that they take care of the things they need to take care of because it's better for the collective. No, I, look, I, I agree that, there's a, that this is all very troubling. And look, let me give you a hard example of this. Say you use Skype or some other internet phone system, right? If you're on the phone while logged in on this thing, according to this, according to the lawyer I talked to before, Kim can verify this, the government can legally listen to your phone call. Good. It can check out what, you, what websites you've been searching. That's because correct. it says that the go That's your government wait, wait, wait. The, your computer correct. is the government's property. correct. It's legal. There is nothing that you can do about if it. If you log Absolutely. on to this at your right. home, 
Everything in your home is now theirs? Basically, and there's nothing you can Good do to challenge it. Well, not your couch, Almighty. just your computer. Yeah, you may not <laughs> like the language. It may be off-putting, but it's completely legal. They're well within their recourse to do so, and it's very broad. It's like an octopus that keeps, like, regenerating tentacles every okay, five seconds. Right. America, we're going to do more on this on uh, Monday. Thank you very much. I mean, I can't. Don't do you it. tell me. You tell me what it means. What is this picture <laughs> adding up to? Now, as if, you know.